I'm Anthony uh, Lipscomb. Hi, I'm Rachel Chris. Hi, I'm Robert PD. Hi, I'm Alex Hastings. Um, I am the CEO, lead producer, and audio director of Hop Hop Studios. I do some assistant production when Alex is really busy. Um, but most importantly, I'm the creative lead on the project, and I'm the lead designer on the project. I do um, mainly like characters and character concepts, as well as like doing like creating modeling of character. I am the co-narrative lead and uh, co-marketing uh, guide for this studio. So we were a student organization um, uh, in uh, here at the university. So one fun fact is that we are all students at the University of Alabama, um, and the majority of us, four out of the six, are new college students. <laughs> new college is the interdisciplinary program on campus, which is basically when you want to do something as your major, and it would normally be suspended between a couple of different programs. Um, like what I do is suspended between art and psychology and, and math and economics. Um, and so New College lets me pull from all the different course curriculums and make my own major. Uh, and so when we stop being a student organization on campus uh, and, and started looking towards incorporating, they were super helpful. Um, and some of the professors provided a lot of guidance on how to incorporate and filling out that paperwork. Um, and or more so, they even just provided us with like a space to sit and work that they weren't using. In January, we, know we had the privilege to do a panel at a Comic Con, which is a convention in Birmingham. And that was extremely humbling because, you know, when we all sit in an office for just 20 to 30 or more hours a week, you know, just hammering away and people don't know who we are, it can be really discouraging from time to time. That was a big inflection point for the company as well because it was actually the first time that anyone who was just interested in like the game, like not people interested, like New College was always very positive, but they were interested in us as students starting right. a business. Yeah. And this was the first time that we had people come and look at the game Actually and be like, in, like our product that we were making. And, and then say that it was good and they were interested. Yeah. It's and that like, was a big deal for us. It's like, you know, mom will always be like, oh, you're, su you're such a handsome young man or your grandma, but when a you know, a companion actually thinks you're pretty, you're like, whoa, maybe I am actually pretty. Right. That's kind of how it was, just like. Our work week start, well, it doesn't end. But for the most part, we work pretty much seven days a week. Um, and it involves, we generally go through like a two rounds of, of iteration or QA in a week. We basically sit down and decide like what the immediate problems with the games are and, and what we have to do to sort of remedy those problems and take it a step in the direction of where we want it to go. Uh, and then we reorient from there and do it again. And so we're working on about three day development cycles, which are obscenely short. Uh, we, we, we range in hours spent in the studio from anywhere to closing it on 90 in a week to like, you know, there, was, there was actually two weeks where Rachel and I did not work at all, uh, was which so was nice. nice. But that was during the summer because we went on vacation, so it doesn't count. The further we get into it, it just gets better and better because, you know, it's, it's not easy starting a company. Video games has always been my solace. Uh, Ever since I can remember, I've always had a controller in my hand. Um, or like, especially when I got into like playing World of Warcraft or D&D, um, &D was kind of really what kind of made me want to um, make characters because it was kind of an outlet for me to create something of my own and make it very personal for me. It kind of um, was almost kind of like I was able to put myself into the work. Um, and especially when I started learning how to like do concept art, do concept illustrations, do 3D modeling. It was just this kind of sense of like, not only are you creating something and you're putting yourself into it, but especially with how interdisciplinary it is, like I get to hand it to Alex and he gets to make sounds for this character that I could never even imagine. And then I get to hand it over um, to like Robert and he gets to put these really cool AI movements on and it's running around. Um, and like with Anthony, like he makes background stories for these characters and it just, all of us coming together and making just one thing kind of life, I think is just one of the best feelings ever. And so that's, I think that's why it's here. Um, fun fact about me, I joined halfway through the project, so <laughs> uh, <laughs> to go off Rachel, like, I, I would love to just fully make a game straight up, uh, not come in six months in, and uh, really uh, fine tune like mechanics with um, a story naturally have my hands on a story that is from my brain and like really see you guys um, 
bring it to life. That's yeah. what I really want. You know what comes next after this game? What? Another game. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs>